Welcome back. Have you ever wondered how scientists know so much about what dinosaurs look like? How do they know that a T-Rex was the bad guy and had such huge teeth? Or how do they know that the Triceratops wasn't a Uniceratops? On top of that, how do you think that scientists figured out how dinosaurs lived? These are all questions that scientists have answered using something called the fossil record. A fossil is the remains or impressions of a prehistoric organism that's preserved in rock. A fossil record is the history of these preserved organisms from a long time ago. The scientists that study this field are known as paleontologists. Paleontologists use a knowledge of a field called geology, which is a study of earth and rocks, and a study of the field called biology, which is the study of life. Together, geology and biology help them draw conclusions about how organisms lived. Let's use the scientific method to study one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Ankylosaurus. This is Abe, by the way. The first step in this method is to make an observation. What do you observe about the Ankylosaurus? Pause the video and write it down. I'm sure you noted some cool, unique features about the Ankylosaurus, but did you notice its club tail? This is such a unique feature about the Ankylosaurus. So how do you think it used it? This gets us into the next step of the scientific method. Let's make a hypothesis. Remember, a hypothesis is just an educated assumption, so don't sweat it if you get it right or wrong. Take one more second to pause the video and write down what you think the Ankylosaurus used its tail for. The next step is to test our hypothesis. But how do you think that scientists test something that's no longer living? Abe's been dead for 66 million years. This is a big problem for paleontologists, but with modern technology, they've been able to figure out some solutions to this problem. They can create models based on the fossil record or create models with modern technology like 3D printing. They can also use scans, such as CT scans, to determine their use. In a recent study done by Canadian scientists, they did just that by taking CT scans of the club tail of the ankylosaur. By using its physical properties like volume and mass, along with its capability to swing its tail, scientists were able to draw conclusions about how they think the ankylosaur used its tail. They found that the ankylosaur could hit with a pressure of up to 718 megapascals. That's over 100,000 pounds of pressure per square inch which is certainly enough pressure to break a bone, which scientists believe was the ultimate use of the ankylosaur club. So was your hypothesis correct? By using fossils, modern technology, and simplified models, scientists were able to determine how they think the ankylosaur used its tail. One day, there may be new data, but that's all a part of science proving and disproving how the universe works. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below on which dinosaur you'd like to talk about next, and subscribe so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. And until next time, go explore something. See ya!